Hi heathens. So I just filmed a different unboxing. So depending on which one you see first, I am in the same little off the shoulder dress. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and get into the April Allure Beauty Box. This is one that I have avoided seeing any spoilers for and I try really hard with all of them, but particularly the ones like this and um, Medusa's makeup where everyone pretty much receives the exact same thing. So let's get on in. I don't even know what color this month's bag is. Um, what was last month? Was last month black again? I don't remember. So this month is like a clear pink. Um, it's got a little pamphlet, um, a little spoiler card for May that you can like scratch off and see what's coming. So let's go ahead and take this out. So we have, oh, I thought it was pink, but it's just because the inside of the box was pink. So it's another clear one. So let's get on in because I can clearly see some of the stuff that's in here. So the first thing is really exciting because it is a Luxie brush. Looks like it is like an eyeshadow shader brush. Um, yep, it is the Luxie 231 Small Tapered Blending Brush. It just has a very nice dome. It's got a nice density to it. These are the kind of eyeshadow brushes that I like the most. Next we have, ooh, this is high end. We have a Laura Geller New York Incredible Waterproof Gel Eyeliner Pencil in the shade Into the Lavender, which based on this little thing here at the end is going to be a nice purple. And it like caves in and has almost a squishy bit here for you to hold, which is really cool. And it is a retractable little pencil. It's really smooth. It's not quite as bright as I was expecting though. Like it's popping. But it is really smooth. That's really neat. I only have one other thing from Laura Geller and that's a baked blush that I also got in uh, BoxyCharm um, quite a while back. So next is another high-end thing. It's a Natasha Denona eyeshadow. And it is in the shade, uh, 126K Obeyed, Obeyed, hi, you wanna come up here? No, you just wanna rub on my legs. Um, so it just comes in a little compact, and then, ooh, it's like a goldy color. Like a, a goldy bronze. So I'm really excited and really nervous to touch this all at the same time because I've heard nothing but good things about Natasha Denona eyeshadows. I mean, it's soft. It feels like a pressed shimmer. That's what it looks like on my finger. And then, ooh, that's pretty. Swatched. It has like a orangish undertone to the gold. It's not like a straight yellow gold. It's like a coppery gold. That's really pretty. Next, I want to take this little thing in the back, which is Vita Liberta Advanced Organics Phenomenal up to 10 days from one application. Oh, it's an organic tan infused cloth. Weird. I've never, so I guess it's a cloth that you rub on your skin, two of them, that gives you a tan. Huh. Interesting. I don't tan. I don't look good tan. So that's going to go to someone else, but that's really neat. I've never even heard of that. This is something that I'm in desperate need of. It is a Brio Geo Farewell Frizz Blow Dry Protection and Heat Protectant Cream. Um, as you can tell, I am the queen of frizz. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess it's just, it's got a decent amount in there. 
I guess it's just to help if you're gonna blow dry or like straighten or curl your hair. Um, I'm sure it doesn't help without heat, but I wanna smell it. It smells nice. I like the way the Briogeo products smell. I know that's really strange, but yes. Then we have, this is also really exciting. I'm not crazy about the color, but I'm gonna give it a shot because of what it is. Am I getting all of that off? <clears throat> I have to dry my lips off now. Okay. So this is an Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick, which I've never had the chance of trying. I've seen them plenty at like TJ Maxx. And I, since I've never tried one, I've never bought one because even at the lower price point, I don't want to get it if I don't know that I'm gonna like it. Um, the color is the reason that I'm a little on edge. It is in the shade Pure Hollywood, which from the looks of this is going to be a very, very, very faint pink. Um, and if you're new to my channel, I don't like pink lipstick very much. And if you're returning to my channel, you know how I feel about pink lipstick. Uh, oh, actually though, so this looks much pinkier than it looks in the tube. In the tube, it has almost a like brownie nude. Now, it may be a little too nude and might give me concealer lips we're gonna try it and find out because I'm really excited to try one of these and even if I don't like the color if I like the formula and the way it dries down it'll convince me to get more so let's see it has a nice like flat end applicator kind of just smells like liquid lipstick oh dear Uh, yeah, so, not exactly the best color for me, um, because it's, uh, kind of skin tony. Oh dear. Oh dear. I feel like if I were to use a brown lip liner and apply this, I'd be very like 90s, early 2000s. <sighs> mm -hmm. Not the most flattering lipstick that I've ever put on, but it feels pretty nice. But because of the color, like my lips uh, have looked better. I will say that. But again, um, it feels nice. I'll have to see how it wears and might be getting another one in a better shade. So going into pricing, uh, we have first thing, the Anastasia lipstick is $20. The Natasha Denona single is $27. Uh, the Ips, the, the Ipsy, the Luxie eyeshadow brush is $12. The Laura Geller eyeliner is $22. The tan cloths, uh, a pack of eight is $25. And this is only two, so about a fourth of that price, maybe like five bucks, if that. And the, I guess, full size of the Brio Gio is $24. So, all in all, um, pretty good pricing. Uh, this lipstick, I don't, I don't know why. I got, I don't remember if it was Allure or BoxyCharm a couple months ago, or maybe last month, I got a Tarte lip paint that was almost this exact same color and I'm sure other people love it but it is not my friend um however it does dry down matte and nice 
seems kiss proof. There's like a teeniest little bit right here. Um, yeah, not a fan of the color, but I like the formula, so I will be getting more. Uh, really impressed with some of the brands that we got though, like this, Anastasia, and um, Laura Geller. Like those are products that I'm not used to seeing particularly all at once. So that is pretty cool. Uh, yeah, let me know what y'all thought of this month's box. I think it's kind of interesting that this month um, there were no, like, optional things. Like, sometimes with Allure, some person gets this, but other people get this. Uh, and this one doesn't have, um, doesn't have that. It's just those items. But all in all, pretty good selection. And yeah, hope y'all enjoyed and I will see y'all next time. Bye.